Thomas Orn Room 1009 at the Sound Hotel in Seattle. It's a tapestry collection by Hilton. And when you walk in, it's a pretty good sized room. You come to the right here, you have this little bureau setup with a lamp. You have a coffee maker here. It's a little dark in this area. Ice bucket, a little basket. I don't know what goes in there. And you have your coffee supplies here. You have a refrigerator. Put your stuff in here, drinks. Come over to this dresser. And it is dark in here. There's not a lot of light, overhead light. So it's gonna be a little hard to see this, unfortunately. I have all the lights on. It's daytime, it's not sunny, but um, it's kind of dark in here. Over here you have a closet, lots of hangers, two robes. There's a basket up here. I'm not sure what's in this. Uh, nothing. You have an iron, ironing board. You do have a safe. And then you have drawers here to put your stuff, three of them. Over here you have the desk. So it's a pretty big desk. You have a lamp here. And then you have the TV above the desk. It's an okay size. Then on the desk you have two US outlets and two USB charging outlets. And a little shelf there and a drawer. Left side of the room as you enter, you have the two queen beds. And then you have a little dresser in between them. This dresser has two drawers, empty. You have a clock radio phone. So it's got a little place to put your phone here. And then they do have different charging cables here. There's also two USB ports on the side of this uh, phone clock radio. But then you also have one US outlet here, and then you have two USB charging ports here as well. So you have lights also that go over the bed. I guess if you're reading in bed. Then over here in the corner, you have a chair, a sitting chair with a footstool, a lamp, and then this little glass table. You also have an outlet over here. One of the plugs is used for the lamp, but the other one's open. But there's also another plug over here as well. Over near the front, you have the bathroom. And the door is a sliding barn door. That has a mirror in front of it. Sliding barn door. I don't see any kind of locking mechanism. So you can't really lock this door, so. Walk into the bathroom, you have your toilet, of course. You have a vanity. Plenty of counter space, towels underneath, extra toilet paper. You have a mirror here, magnifying mirror with a light, tissues. In here you have cotton balls, swabs, and a shower cap. You have hand towels. I believe the darker one is a makeup one you're supposed to use maybe so you don't get these all dirty with makeup. And then you have some body lotion, which is Sasha Juan brand. I'm not sure how to say that. And all the toiletries are that brand. It looks to be Canadian, I believe. So you have the hand soap over here. You have a mirror with a light around it. So over here you have the shower. It's a pretty good size. Dark. You got a shower head as well as an arm here that comes off. And then you have hair shampoo, normal hair conditioner, and body wash. This is our view. We're on the 10th floor. This is 4th Avenue below us, the hotel is on. So you can see it this way, pretty good view. I mean, there's a building right here, but it's got like this little outcrop here that has a window on the side. So you can see down this way as well. And this is the direction that the Space Needle is. There is on the 7th floor a like lounge that you can go to, which it, it's got seating inside and outside. Um, nice quiet area. From there, from the outside deck, you can see the Space Needle very well. So this is a good location. We were able to walk to the Pike Place Market pretty easily, as well as the Space Needle. Chaluli Gardens is only about 0.6 miles away. So it's a nice location if you want to walk somewhere. It's a two-queen room at the Sound Hotel in Seattle, Washington.